The FDA will host a meeting of its science advisory committee in about three weeks to look at Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. Early studies show that here in the U.S., it's about 72 percent effective at preventing moderate to severe COVID-19. Now, that's less than the 95 percent effectiveness of the two-dose shots made by Pfizer and Moderna. Still, state health officials say the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is showing promising signs. Well, there does appear to be um, some decreased efficacy um, overall. Uh, the vaccine remains very effective at preventing severe disease, very effective at preventing hospitalizations and deaths. State epidemiologist Dr. Benjamin Chan says the one-shot requirement of the vaccine will likely create an easier rollout. That'll help logistically get people vaccinated quicker. Um, the other benefit of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is that um, it has much easier storage requirements. I think this is very positive data. Dr. Michael Calderwood, an infectious disease and international health specialist with Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center, is eager to see the final results of the Johnson & Johnson study, which will be released to the public about 48 hours before the FDA's review. There's going to be a lot of this Johnson & Johnson vaccine available. And to add to our current stockpile and get everyone vaccinated in short order. And now Johnson & Johnson expects to deliver 100 million doses to the U.S. by the end of June. Exactly how that will be distributed throughout New Hampshire, well, that is still up for discussion. The state says it really wants to see that final data to see if this vaccine will work for certain groups or if it can go right out to the general public. Reporting live tonight, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.